Hi everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. How are you today? All right, my friends, today we're going to delve a little deeper into a phenomenon that we've been hearing about from the mainstream media. What am I talking about? Okay. The mainstream media outlets are saying that this rally in the market is being driven by the average guy and the average girl finally taking their cash that's been sitting on the sidelines and putting it into the market. I'm here to tell you right now that is a lie. It is a complete falsehood and I'm going to prove it to you with a chart that I made up. Um, understand this. What is actually going on here? Very simple concept to understand. And in fact, the mainstream media has been talking about it. These are institutions, corporations that are buying back their stock, period. It's not the average guy or the average girl. And how do we know this? Because there's no volume. If the average guy or the average girl were all of a sudden jumping into the market, what would you expect to see? You would expect to see a volume spike. There is no volume spike. Now, again, I'm going to show you a chart in a moment well, with regard to that, but let's think about it. Why would the institutional investors, the institutions, be buying back their own stock? One, obviously, they want to drive the price up. Two, is they want to affect their earnings per share. Okay? Think about how the scenario works. If there are more shares available for people to buy them and they have to report earnings, earnings comes in at whatever number it might be, their earnings per share would be affected if they were to contract those available shares, wouldn't it? Of course. It's just a game. It's an absolute game. And I think they're doing this for many, many reasons. I've been over them before. But let's let's just focus on this uh, because this is very telling people again um, the fact that there is a no volume here and no volume spike with regard to the rising in the market that we've seen lately is very telling I made a chart here for you the Dow Jones Industrial Average that's getting all the hype okay um, from 2003 till today so we're talking about a 10-year chart here let's see what it says ah okay this is normal volume people normal volume this is where we are now um, it's a fraction of where it was before now maybe if you took a microscope you could look over here um I don't see a volume spike do you I mean you really uh, would probably need a magnifying glass to you know see any action here at all so what does this tell you it should tell you that the average guy and the average girl is not driving this market and the mainstream media really has no clue uh, as to what they're talking about and uh, again if if this were a real rally and not a manipulated one you would expect to see a massive um, a volume spike it's just not there uh, it's not there <laughs> so understand this is not real um, let me just go over a couple of other things for the past several weeks now I've been saying hey you know this market is due for a correction uh, it's gonna pull back and over the years I've been a pretty good market timer uh, I make the bulk a large chunk of my income from trading the markets so you know I'm usually right here of uh, seven out of ten times is probably where where I'm at let me just say this. About two weeks ago, the um, chief equity officer of JP Morgan came out stating, hey, you know, the market's getting ahead of itself and we're not really buying here. We're, we're actually going to be getting short. Now, I don't base my calls around what people like that say, although, I mean, this is a big gun, right? Um, my calls are my own. And as I'm sure many of you are aware, I'm not the only one. The gentleman from JP Morgan is not the only one. A lot of analysts are out here saying the same thing. The market is way ahead of itself. Doesn't make sense. There's a complete disconnect as to what's going on here. Um, there are those out there that believe this is going to just continue on until Dow 100,000. Um, I mean, could it? I guess it could if they continue to buy back every single share of stock uh, that they do have and there aren't any, any held by the public or, or